It's been said by critics, drunken Scottish critics, and everyday moviegoers that today's films just don't take creative risks. Rather, they stagnate in their same tired formula, seeming almost afraid to contradict the current social climate or provoke deeply thoughtful responses from their audience. This may very well be the case with modern entertainment, but it was not the case with the first Godzilla. What set Gojira apart from its monster flick cousins was its pointed and somewhat controversial approach, symbolizing real-world tragedies and their devastating effects on the world and humankind. It was dark, brooding, and questioning. Instead of glossing over issues and ignoring the past, Gojira directly challenged the world. Do we want to destroy each other and ourselves? Gojira isn't an overly complicated story. It triumphs because of its heart, its intellectualizing of the monster film genre, and characters who feel like real people. What's also important is that it can balance darkness and loss with optimism. It poses an if question, indicating that humanity still has time to change. If you are a storyteller, you can do the same. Don't dilute yourself or your message. Don't refrain from speaking the truth, because if you hold back, someone else will just speak it for you and you'll have lost your chance to be a vessel for it. Truth and reality cannot be tamed or ignored. Instead, as it was done in Gojira, it should be promoted, shared, and celebrated. Weave the truth into something beautiful and tragic, or warm and hopeful. Never leave your audience with darkened hearts when you end something. Always feed them at least a spoon of optimism for growth and change. Like Gojira, your words and your stories can provoke, terrify, and challenge. As long as we remember life is worth fighting for and we communicate this to our audience, we should not be afraid to venture boldly into the war zone that is our broken world to share the truth. Thank you for watching Goji Geeks and may the geek and truth be with you.